Hi, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and I'm going to interrupt my uh, World War I, uh, the Great War. Uh, just about to start a new, uh, a new session. It's got a package today, and several of you already got it too, but I'm going to unbox Dawn of the Zeds. Ooh. It's like a, looks like a Bonnie Tyler video from the 80s. Anyway, uh, I've already taken the shrink off. I wasn't going to do it because I figured... Everybody else have already seen it, uh, and they're telling me these are going to be available at retail. But um, since I am new, completely new to this game, uh, this is the third edition, and I never got on board with any of the other editions. So I'm not a zombie guy. I just have always hated them, but they're slowly creeping into my brain. I guess is the way to put it properly, but. Uh, uh, I'm curious. I, I like how they've changed it more to uh, to a medical condition, a virus, poison, something like that, instead of just being the traditional, you know, died and didn't go anywhere kind of nonsense. So, but here it is. Some kind of virus or poison is turning ordinary people into vicious zombie-like killers. Ooh. So anyway, I like States of Siege. I like almost all of Herman Lutman's stuff. And so now... I am going to find out what is inside this box. I have taken the shrink off, like I said, but then I decided what the heck, I'd go ahead and film this. So I'm going to stop recording, open the box, and then we'll go through the contents. All right, All right so here we are. Got the lid off. Uh, I'm just doing this one-handed with my uh, my iPhone. I feel like setting up a tripod and doing the whole kit and caboodle. So clearly the World War One stuff does not come with a game. I'm kind of low on space here on the table. So, anyway, first thing we get here is a flyer for other games. Cool Necessities right there in the uh, upper corner. It's one of my favorites. So far, I think it's the best States of Siege game there is. But I like some of the others. I know this follows along that line. Nemo's War. That's how I got this. Is bought Nemo's War and they allowed us to buy. To buy Zed's. Wow, oh my gosh. Is that one book? Okay, no, it's a stack. I reach from this side. I like a huge, thick uh, World Series program size book was coming out. So, this is the rule book. Let's see what we got here. So, we're looking through the camera. It's uh, 40. Two, really? 44 pages. So that's 11 sheets. It's a pretty thick book. Very glossy magazine stock. Got the basic game rules. For those of you who have played this before, you know what all this stuff means. I have no idea. I have no idea. I love the smell of the new game, though. It looks gorgeous. All right. An index, that's always nice to have. Here's everything you're gonna find. I guess you get the inventory, although I guess it doesn't say how many of something you get. Very nice book. Assuming it's all written well, I'm not reading it here, I'm just looking. Just doing a flipsy. All right, so then we have, let's see, this is, oh, this is the comprehensive rules. And now we have the basic game rule book. I get that guy's lovely face like all over the place. Unfortunately, I'm not prone to nightmares. I am about slugs. I found a slug the other day. But it's crazy. All right. So basic game rule book. Another nice glossy book. It's uh, 20 pages. Start here. And so I can guarantee you that's where I'm going to start. I play this story so far. There's no time to lose. This third edition of our zombie apocalypse, apocalypse game, Dawn of the Zeds, we've added an extended narrative in both co op and competitive gameplay. Yeah, well, I'll co op with myself. All right. Hey, look. Come and let me. Alan Emmerich designed the third edition. Okay, that's cool. Tim Allen, he always makes good uh, 
good maps for some of the other games. Recognize any of these people here? Ah, Ryan Mays. Hey, Brian. Dave Kennedy. I'm probably missing somebody, I know. It's late. I'm very, very tired. All right. So, anyway, we're going to have to go. Obviously, you got to get more details. The rest of this video is going to go on forever. Uh, third edition confidential dossier. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's just um, a gimmick or if this is something I should avoid with the narrative. So, I am. We'll do a quick flip. Uh, I don't think it is. I guess it's just background story on the characters, including the film crew. They're anti civilians. All right. Okay. So I guess it's just a getting geek thing. All right. Level up rule book. Man. What all is in this game? Goodness gracious. What a bargain. Advanced rules. Let's set up an epilogue book. Wow. Goodness gracious, lots of goodness in this thing. Deck construction example. Wow. Very cool. I'm getting excited actually for this. But I still have World War One to play. Alright. Counters. Very nice and thick cardboard. Unfortunately, fortunately for some of you, unfortunately for me, you don't get the cool sooty counters, laser cut. I guess you could have ordered them as an add-on, but these are more standard game counters. They look like they're going to punch out pretty easily. Look at this show right here. Yeah. yeah, they punch out really nice. Nice and thick. And no soot. So. There we go. I figure how to organize this bad boy. That's a nice big box. Right, so you got one sheet of counters, and a half sheet of counters. There's a sheet for four, so I guess there's only four total. Uh, so it's just, I guess there's really three and a half sheets. Looks like more of the same. I thought it was a special sheet of counters. Uh, you know, little hearts, I guess that's some kind of help. Various characters. Obviously, I guess those are strength values, would be my guess from a war game perspective. And we get that sheet here. More fun stuff upside down. But they're actually, the color is beautiful on them. Unfortunately, there's their bleed. Uh, like this one's just a little off. It's going to cut his arm off. He could have been shifted over a little bit. It's not that big a deal, but it's like such beautiful art. It's just going to be left or tossed in the trash when the uh, when the uh, sprue goes away. Um, really beautiful, very colorful, very nice. All of them quite lovely. All right, now we got a board. We'll open that in a minute. Nice art. The background's kind of evocative of, uh, not the background, but just the color palette here in the background's evocative of nuclear winter. I have no idea. I mean, I recognize the tracks from States of Siege. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to do stuff more than that. But fortunately, it's only a, a four panel board, so it's not going to be that big. The, Great War board there is uh, six panels, so uh, it'll probably be about to here, and I'll, I'll unfold that in just a second. Let's put that to the side there. Let's see what's in the box first. A uh, nice glossy coated uh, uh, score tracker or turn tracker or something. So the rules will tell me. I would read the rules. I learn this stuff. Player aids. Go for the Zeds. And for the various players. Now these are kind of laying in the box. We got something 
wedged under them so they're actually got a bit of a curl to them when they come out. So I play this flat. I'm gonna bag some new drawing stuff. Dawn of the Zeds. And we have dice. We have these tiny microscopic dice that look like they have a face on them. Let's see. I assume that's a zombie face there. Focus. Focus. Yeah, there's the glowy eyes. I guess that's a zombie. And he's on the uh, one. Yeah. He's on the one. Jamming on the one. Yeah, tiny dice. Obviously bigger than the micro dice that EPG loves to use, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll be alright. If not, uh, I have dice. I have plenty of dice. Goodness gracious, I have dice. Before I got into board gaming, I used to go to garage sales and estate sales, and anytime I found dice, I bought dice. Even up there, I have letter dice galore, dice games. I just have always loved to collect dice. So, a little fact about me that nobody cares. Ah, uh, Burks is E Party. This is player cards, maybe, you know, good abilities and various things on there. And three decks of cards. Uh, I have no idea how this, I know, this, I know how the States of Siege works, but uh, these will have years and stuff, so these may be events on my deck or anything. But all I know is as I keep digging, more. So, okay, well, that's obviously an event deck right there. So it says it. Let's see. Okay. Event deck. And we have a fate deck. Ooh. Well, clearly, your fate is sealed right now. So, if I unseal it, then I've unsealed my fate. So, anyway, maybe I want to do that because I don't want my fate to be sealed. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just rambling now. So, I have a cardboard insert that is probably, my guess, going to be chunked. And I'll whip out some foam core there and Make an insert, probably, but we'll see. See if I like the game first of all, right? You know, so many people like games that I don't like. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna stop this here and we'll get that board out and we'll look at it real quick. All right, so I got the board set up out. Uh, this is side A. Uh, as you can see, it's actually a uh, lot smaller than the the Great War, even the four panels. So each panel is obviously uh, uh, probably eight and a half by eleven. Maybe so it's four of those. So they go at uh, 20, 22 by 17. Am I doing that right? Probably 22 by 17. So uh, that's pretty cool looking. Um, not sure what the difference is here. Oh, just messed up all my other stuff. Okay. So side B has the catacombs. Uh, this must be for like a tougher level, I would think. Or maybe it's gonna be, maybe that makes things easier. I again, you're all the veterans of the veterans of the game are just laughing at me like crazy. But it's actually really beautiful. Man, if I could, if they made a a, a cool necessity version uh, with this deluxe premium line, that would be killer because that is just a great game. So, anyway, uh, there you have it. That is what is in my copy of Dawn of the Zeds, the uh, Zemo version, which I believe is the same as the the uh, Kickstarter backer version. Uh, we just backed it later as an afterthought. So, I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, hope to have a review up at some point in the future. Talk to you later. Bye. And thanks for watching.